Hi, I'm Brooke, and this is the Picard Cast. <laughs> and of course, as always, I can't speak, but that's okay. I am joined by the wonderful Rebecca. Hey, good to be back recording again on the Bridge of the Enterprise. Yeah. Where I imagine that we record yeah. is on the Bridge of the Enterprise. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I mean, unless we were at Chateau Picard drinking some... 42 or whatever oh that's cool you know i i always think like um when we have a guest on which tonight we don't but uh, when we have a guest we're at chateau picard all sipping wine and chatting and when it's just me and you it's like we're on the bridge of the enterprise yes it's strictly Off. business when it's strictly both of us. business <laughs> no fun whatsoever no no no, no i'm no not laughing or Klingons laugh. do not laugh yeah. <laughs> Klingons do not laugh. <laughs> At least that one doesn't. Jeez. <laughs> so, speaking of business, we're here because da -da -da, they dropped a teaser for Picard on Friday, December 20th. Uh, sorry, we're a little late on this. We had lots of good times, you know, with holidays and stuff. You know, we had other things going on. We have lives, you guys, but we, life, we love you. Life but... happens, and um, my parents moved to Florida, so there's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big thing that happened, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if you wanted to talk about that. It's fine. <laughs> oh, that's all good. No, no. Yeah, my, my parents moved to Florida, and uh, I was an emotional wreck, um, so there's that. But you know what? I'm really glad that we had this teaser trailer. It kind of – I didn't realize they were going to drop another trailer. Me either. Um, I, it came out of the blue for me. All of a sudden, I was like, oh, there's a trailer? Another one? And then, uh, yeah, so I'm glad that we had some time tonight to uh, sit down and break this trailer down. Yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. I'm so, it's like less than uh, a month away. We are less than 30 days away from episode one mm -hmm. of Picard. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Picard once again will premiere January 23rd on CBS All Access mm -hmm. here in the States. Um, however, you have to wait until the next day on January 24th if you're overseas to watch it on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's only one day, you guys. And then, you know, after you listen to it over in the UK or wherever you are, you can listen to us. Yeah. Because we're going to break it down every week. Break it down. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for a breakdown. <laughs> but yeah, it's <laughs> less than a month. I'm super excited. Can't wait. I've been watching lots of Star Trek in preparation. <laughs> sure. <laughs> for this moment. Uh, yeah, because I have no other reason to watch Star Trek <laughs> except that I love Star Trek. <laughs> yeah, so uh, everyone, this was a 30-second trailer. I mean, if you count from like fade in to the logo to like fade to black at the end so really it was less than that of actual footage and some of it we'd already seen but i still had two pages of notes <laughs> yeah of course because we're very thorough here on the picard cast we make notes we break things down mm -hmm. because we want to share all the little good stuff with you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we um we start out, we see the CBS All Access logo, you know, original series, all that good stuff, and you're already ready for this. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. let's go. <laughs> um, we come into the scene, uh, Picard's sitting at a table, he looks really kind of distressed, and uh, he's on the table, there's like a chrome, like, pitcher or teapot or something, you know, it looks more like a water pitcher to me, but you know, it's Picard, so it's probably got tea in it, or a little gray. Um, and I was pausing it p bit by bit. What is frame by frame? I was like, what is that called? And I saw something flickering on there and I'm like, I can't tell what that is. You would think after I watched the thing like already four or five times and then went down to break this down that I would have realized what it was. But the camera like flips around and you see him from the side and you can see like a planet or something. There's some like explosions. It could be like erupting on the planet i couldn't figure out exactly what it was uh rebecca has some information that may or may not be true that we found out so i'll i'll let her have that in a second um you know we see like picard's face and he still looks distressed and then they're shaking and everything so it's definitely something big going on um not earthquakes obviously because he is on a spaceship or a space station or something and i mean 
somewhere I saw that someone thinks it was the that he was on the Enterprise and ten forward, but that's not what it looked like. I don't know. They could have a makeover, I guess. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, but um, it was those bursts and explosions and things that were reflecting on the, you know, the tableware and stuff. So I thought that was that was pretty good, you know, because it's probably all visual effects. So <laughs> anyway, we hear a voiceover of Jean Luc saying, "I was haunted by my past." Like as you're seeing seeing this scene here um and this bit of scene i think it's part of the scene i don't know you can tell me what you think or not where he we see flashes of like a borg and then data and it's the kind of flicker back and forth for a minute and it's like it's almost like when you have like um like your life flashes before your eyes so like it's mm-hmm. like he's thinking of these things as all of this is going on outside is what i took it as but it could be just a trick of editing and it could be from some other part or maybe that doesn't actually happen and we're just seeing flickers of other images mm-hmm. <laughs> not just it's supposed to be a memory so i'll let you go with your your findings <laughs> yeah so um I think it's worth noting that apparently that is 10 forward that we do see him in i don't know if it's meant to be like a a memory or a dream or he's on uh, a recreated 10 forward mm-hmm. this is not confirmed mm-hmm. but i did watch two star trek youtube videos made by you know mega fans that have youtube channels so i mean that's probably as close as you can get <laughs> and they did both say the same thing and i tend to agree with them so uh here goes uh our well i should say mine i don't want to speak for brooke but I, here goes my thought on where he is um the planet that he is uh orbiting or his the where or the ship he's on is orbiting is i believe it's mars and uh, hence why it's so red. And uh, you Trek fans will know that at Mars is Utopia Planitia, which is the shipyard, uh, the building shipyards. And apparently the thought here is that there is a faction of Romulans who have launched an attack, uh, hence all those explosions on the planet surface, uh, who are and they are destroying or blowing up some of the rescue armada that the Federation is building to go and help uh, Romulus. Now, that is a fan theory that is not official from CBS All Access, but the thought be here is that it kind of could tie in because we know that at the same time that this is happening. Jean-Luc is saying that he's haunted by his past. Mm -hmm. And we know that he has a very extended past with the Romulans. Mm -hmm. You know, we've covered it in previous episodes and uh, episodes that you'll probably hear in the future. (laughs) Trying to remember where they are in the the stream of time. But we also do know that there is a Romulan in this cast. Mm -hmm. That is the fan theory. I tend to agree with them that uh, that is what is happening Mm -hmm. here. Yeah, and I, I thought it looked like Mars, too, but, you know, I don't know enough to know that it really had significance. <laughs> ah, well, no, I mean, it it is the red planet, right? I yeah. mean, you know, as people know. there. I did also read a theory that that is Vulcan that's being attacked. Oh, okay. Um, I, and the reason why some fans think that it's Vulcan is because it, this ties into a scene that we'll talk about later on in this teaser where we see somebody presumably a Vulcan engaging in a mind meld. Mm -hmm. And so um, we haven't seen Vulcans really terribly featured heavily in in the Picard uh, teasers and trailers. So Mm -hmm. uh, one fan theory is that it's Vulcan that's being attacked again by Romulans, Mm -hmm. uh, which also ties into another scene we'll talk about in a bit with the sign that says Romulans only Mm -hmm. in that town. So I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think it's probably Mars that if I, you know, gun to gun to my head, I would say it's Mars. Um, <laughs> I know. Right. How serious is the show, Rebecca? Um, I don't think it's Vulcan. I mm-hmm. do think it's Mars. If I'm wrong, I'll eat crow. But I, I do <laughs> tend to believe that it's Mars. OK, that works for me. Like I said, cool. you know, being someone who's not Make as... it <laughs> someone who's not as into it as you are, like, I don't necessarily know. Where to go to see what other people are saying or anything. So, 
Yeah, this is a learning experience for me. <laughs> <laughs> so the next scene, we see that rocky planet that we see before. Um, it was where uh, we saw Elnor like fighting, and then I think in one of the other trailers, it was uh, Jean Luc was fight was you know going to sort of fight somebody like in sort of a town square and like Rebecca said you know there's a, a place that's got a sign that says Romulans only and it looks like maybe like a cafe or something with outdoor see seating and uh, Picard walks by and he's wearing all black but then he has on one of those black jackets with the gray on the shoulders that looks like Deep Space Nine or like the Genesis outfits that they wore um so, you know, that's kind of interesting. And he has, like, a little pin, but it doesn't look like a communicator. So I'm not sure what it is because it's too far away. And I was on a small monitor. So, you know, <laughs> should have watched it on my big TV. <laughs> we'll uh, find out in less than a month. Right? I know. <laughs> I know. Um, <clears throat> um, then we see Picard sitting like in an office talking to somebody uh we don't ever see who this person is but um he he says i will do what needs to be done and instead of it being a voiceover it it flows from his voice oh i missed this sorry um when we see him walking past the romulans only bar and grill um <laughs> only bar and grill. i just like to call everything a bar that. and grill i love um, that <laughs> Because <laughs> that's what I always call 10 Forward. If hey, guys, where should we go for dinner? How about the Romulans only bar and grill? <laughs> but we're not Romulans. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Go somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, if we stand outside the rails, they'll throw scraps at us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That sounds so like Les Mis. <laughs> or like... <laughs> or, or like Oliver, yes. you know, please, I'd like some more. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he says before his voiceover says, I was haunted by my past. And then all this stuff flashes through. And then when we get to there, he says, but now I have a mission. And in the time that it takes him to say that, we see him walk past this place. And then the next thing he says, I will do what needs to be done. But it's him sitting in an office with somebody. You don't see who that he's talking to. And he's wearing, like, his civilian clothes. And I was a little disappointed. But, I mean, he's almost 80 now. So, I guess he doesn't wear the plunging necklines anymore. You know, I'm um, just longing for the days of 25 years ago, I guess. <laughs> now, I have a question for you. This mm -hmm. scene where he's saying, I will do what needs to be done. Does, do you think this is taking place at what we are guessing is Starfleet headquarters? I assume so. Where you know the the scene that we've we've seen in other trailers mm -hmm. where he goes to presumably Starfleet headquarters mm -hmm. and talks to an admiral. Um, do do you think this is Starfleet headquarters? I think it's somewhere like that, but it's it seems like you know they're sitting in like different chairs than like because before he walked up to the desk and the other one, so either he's in a different part of that office or someone else's office. Like it's a different day or so you know what i mean like it seems like it's probably starfleet just because of the way the room looks but i don't know yeah you know? hard it's hard to tell because we only get that for a second but yeah I, I i thought that like oh it looks like he's at starfleet headquarters or he could be in somebody's office that mm -hmm. that's for sure but mm -hmm. um yeah d definitely not chateau picard definitely mm -mm. not a spaceship mm -mm. looks like it's more of like somewhere on earth in an yeah. office. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it definitely feels more like earth than like any other planet that it could be on. Um, and I got so into this. I even wrote down like that. He's wearing a gray mon Mandarin collared shirt and then like a gray sweater <laughs> or it's all made together. I couldn't tell, you know, but it looked like there was like cable knit on his arms and stuff. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so then we see January 23rd on the screen. Mm hmm. So the next scene, we have a ship that's flying towards a planet. It kind of looks like what Earth looks like whenever you see pictures of it at night with all the lights and the cities and stuff. But it didn't, the shapes didn't look like Earth. So I don't know what planet it was. Do you have, 